This is the video set of instructions to talk about dusting for fingerprints. I want you to pay close attention, especially to this station, because this is going to be our prime method when we go out in the school building, either later this week or most likely next week, to actually dust for fingerprints. So you wanna pay close attention, and you are welcome to practice this station a couple of times. I wouldn't necessarily do it one, even two times. I would go for three or four times practicing this. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a roll of tape, you're gonna have a fingerprint kit. In the kit, you can see you have this thing called a wand. It's a magnetic wand, I'll show you in a moment. There is a container here that has some black powder in it. You can probably get an idea, it's pretty messy. And you also have some glass slides. And then in addition, somewhere near the lab, you're gonna find the, this box of tissues that are actually called Kim wipes. So we're gonna be leaving our fingerprints on these microscope slides. You can tell this slide is pretty dirty. So the first thing you wanna do is clean it off. So go ahead and use one of those Kim wipes to really wipe that down. so that you have a nice clean slide to work with if you can see that. So I am going to leave a fingerprint. You can see it's also kind of getting on my fingers too. This is a very messy lab station. So I'm gonna leave my right index fingerprint. It really doesn't matter which finger you decide to use. I'm gonna use my right index one. It's just a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna get it greasy by rubbing it on my nose or across my forehead. And then I'm gonna press down pretty hard on the glass slide to leave a fingerprint. Let's see if we can even see it a little bit. Yeah, we can see it there up to the light. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna lift that fingerprint off of the glass slide. And so to do that, this is where you wanna practice because this takes some technique and some um, ability. So this wand, you actually wanna hover above the magnetic powder. If you could see this a little bit more, when I hover it, you'll see it actually picks up the powder and becomes like a paintbrush. And so you wanna use this wand and literally kind of paint across your fingerprint that you left on the slide. Here's where some techniques come into play that you can roll it around. I am not actually touching the fingerprint with the wand itself. I am only having the powder come in contact with the grease from my fingerprint. So as you can see, I have some powder on there, but I have not smeared it too much. I haven't made a big mess. Then, here's a big important cleanup part, you want to take this wand over top of your powder dish, and I know you can't see it, but on the end there is a knob. You can actually pull up on that knob. When you pull up on that knob, it releases the powder back into the container. You can even clean up a little bit by rubbing this around and cleaning up your container. So now that I have the powder on my fingerprint, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some tape to try to lift it. Again, this takes some practice. So I'm gonna put the tape very carefully over top of my fingerprint, and I'm gonna to try to make sure I get all of the air bubbles. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. I'm gonna make sure I get all of the air bubbles out by kind of rubbing it back and forth on top of the tape, and then I'm very carefully going to lift that tape and as you can see, now the fingerprint is on the tape itself. And you can tape this to your lab. Again, I'm really looking for you to do this maybe three or four times to practice. You can practice with the wand, you know, painting very lightly, swirling it, dabbing it. Try some different techniques even with putting the tape on there. This is um, a very messy lab station. I can't say that enough. So I do ask that you clean up when you're done. Um, try to use your wand to go pick up some loose particles, put them back in the jars, and then also wash your hands when you're done. And if you could wash the lab table a little bit with some paper towels um, or some wipes, that would be helpful. Thank you so much.